In this tutorial, we are going to show a solved example on run length encoding. So let's apply run length encoding on this bit stream. So what we are going to do, we are going to separate numbers into groups of zeros and ones. So as you see in this case, we have zeros. So this will be the first group, then ones. So this is the second group. Again zeros, so this is the third group. Again ones, so this is the fourth group. Now we are going to write zero since we have a group of zeros. Then the number of zeros in this group, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are going to write 10 like this. Now for this group, since this is a group of 1s, so we are going to write 1 like this. Then the number of 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4, so we are going to write 4 like this. Now for this group, we have a group of zeros, so we will write zeros. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 zeros. A group of 1s. So I will write 1, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I will write 8 like this. Now what we are going to do, we are going to convert these numbers 10, 4, 5, 8 to binary. 10 in binary is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0. 4 is equal to 1, 0, 0. 5 is equal to 1, 0, 1. 8 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0 like this. Now, as you see, we have binary numbers represented in three bits like this, which is this number and this number. And we have other binary numbers, which is this number and this number represented in four bits. And the question is, should we represent the result using three bits or four bits? We are going to represent the result using four bits like this, because I can represent these two numbers, which are in three bits using four bits. However, I cannot represent these two numbers, which are in four bits in three bits. So let's see an example. So as we said, we are going to represent numbers using four bits. So for these two numbers, four and five, we will add a zero like this. So we can represent these two numbers also using four bits like this. Okay. Now to be able to get the final result, we are going to say the following. We have 0, so I will write 0 like this. Then we have 10. We will get the binary of this 10, which is 1, 0, 1, 0. So we are going to write 1, 0, 1, 0. Again, we have 1, so we will write 1 like this. And the binary of this 4, which is 0, 1, 0, 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0 like this. Again, we have 0, so I will write 0. Then the binary of this 5, which is 0, 1, 0, 1. So I will write 0, 1, 0, 1. Now again 1, so I will write 1, then the binary of this 8, which is 1, 0, 0, 0. So I will write 1, 0, 0, 0 like this. So this is the result.